Releases and records are the two JSON document formats supported by OCDS. Simply put, when you publish OCDS data, you're publishing releases, records, or both. Tracking change over time is important to users of contracting data because there can be many changes in the life of a contracting process. Knowing how and when certain attributes have changed can help users to understand the process, identify inefficiencies, and spot red flags for corruption. OCDS publishers are encouraged to publish data in near real time and to provide a change history. This example timeline shows some of the changes that might occur in the tender, award, and contract stages. In OCDS, each change to a contracting process is published using a release. Releases are immutable, which means they cannot be changed. There can be many releases per contracting process, and the collection of releases for a contracting process constitutes its change history. For each contracting process, there is a single record, and each record is made up of three components. The first is an index of releases for that contracting process. Each time a new release is published, it is added to the index. The index makes it easy for users to find all the releases related to a contracting process. The second component is the compiled release. It uses the same structure as a release and provides the latest value of each field. Each time a new release is published, the compiled release in the record is updated with the latest values. The compiled release makes it easy for users to get the latest version of the data about a contracting process. The third component is the versioned release. It contains a history of changes for each individual field. Each time a new release is published, the versioned release is updated with any new changes. The versioned release makes it easy for users to see how a particular field has changed over time. To assess competition, we might want to check the proportion of contracts awarded under each procurement method. To do this, we can simply check the latest values for each contract using the compiled release. To assess efficiency, you can use the change history to identify tenders in which the deadline for bids was extended by looking at the release index or versioned release. Visit the standard documentation for more information or watch our Designing Your OCDS implementation video.